When I get a client in who is going through what I call a breakup hangover, like it's just that devastating part of a breakup that you just, every day you think about it, you go through the words, you have days where you're angry at them, you have days where you're angry at yourself, you ask yourself, what was I doing? What was I thinking? I was just so angry. And then we start going through this stage where we take their side, we start feeling bad about ourselves. No wonder they left me. I'm a loser. I'll never make it. And we do all these things. It's all part of the stage of grieving a breakup. But the ultimate happens around the third to sixth month with most of my clients. About around the third or six months, they'll start saying, you know what? I think I feel better. I, I want to start dating again. And for those of you who don't know my platform, I usually recommend that you take off a year, a year from dating. And this is why, because all too many times people start dating before the healing is started. They're lonely and they really want somebody. And so they carry that unresolved stuff and they send out this vibe and it attracts people. And depending where you are in that stage of going through what you need to do post breakup, you're going to attract that person. And then along with whoever you attract, which it's not going to be someone healthy, you're going to dump all of this unresolved stuff on them and you're going to work it out with them. And so more than likely, if it does work out, if that relationship does have staying power, it's going to have a lot of issues that you have to go through because you're really, your brain is not ready to really focus on what you need to focus in finding a potential partner when you're dating after a breakup. It's just not, you're, you're, you're reeling, you're trying to figure it all out. You need to have time to let it settle. So what do, what do myself and other relationship experts suggest? We suggest you ask yourself these questions and make sure you can really debate it and answer it honestly. The first one is, have you fully accepted your breakup? Are you telling yourself now it's time to move forward? If you have a house, you're thinking, okay, am I going to resell the house? going to put it on the market, going to look for something else. Not that you should make those moves until the first year, but there is some sense of finality like, okay, this is he, he or she is not part of my life anymore. And it's time for me to just move on, to take the story, learn from the story, but not keep it, you know, nurturing it like it's going to come back, like you've really let it go. Secondly, you don't think about your ex so often. You know, in the beginning, it's pretty normal. You're talking to your friends about what went down, talking to your parents, talking to anybody you can, sometimes even a stranger that, oh, I just went through a breakup and getting into it. More than anything, when that starts dissipating, when that starts minimizing, then you're going to know, okay, really, I haven't thought of them for a couple months now. That's a good sign. That means you truly are letting go. It's not there yet, but all, what I want you to understand is even after a year, if this was a solid, good relationship, you really love this person, they will come up. They will come up in your mind. You'll see something. It will remind you of them. It will make you feel good or it might make you feel longing. Completely normal. Don't worry about it. But if you're thinking about them every day, then it's too early. It's not time. Number three, you're confident in your ability to be independent. This means if you're one of those people that you really loved having a partner, may have become too reliant on them, too, they were too wonderful, it was so wonderful that you stopped doing some of the things, probably going to take you six to nine months just to get in that groove again where, okay, I got to take care of this, I got to take care of this, I got to do this. Especially if you had a stand-up partner that they were really helping share the load, there's going to be an overwhelming sense of loss, of a void when they're gone. Not only that, a lot of stress because when you're taking on two full jobs a lot, you can ask yourself, I don't know how I did this before. Well, you, that just shows that you really were 
able to rely on this person, depend on this person. And that's indicative of having a relationship that works. So rather than tell yourself, oh, what a terrible mistake I made, this was awful, remind yourself there's more than one person out there who you can have a healthy relationship with and more than likely you're going to find that person that you need to form a healthy relationship with. Once you get through this breakup, the next, the idea of your ex dating other people doesn't really bother you. When, when you can see them with someone else and it doesn't really get you anymore, that's a sign that you're ready to move on, that you're healing from this. You feel excited about dating again. I tell most of my clients, if you aren't excited about going out or meeting someone, then that date shouldn't happen. Because in order for a date to feel like you were attentive, like you were someone they could like, you were someone they thought was neat, you need to want to meet them. If you go out and you're just going through the motions, take, give yourself some slack, take more time. There's no mandated amount of time you need after a breakup to start dating again. But the one thing I do know, and every, most experts will tell you, takes about a year to get this person out of your system. You know what you want out of your next relationship. And that's the last thing. And if you didn't know what you wanted before this relationship, that could have been part of the reason it wasn't able to sustain itself. Before you start dating, you should be intentional about it. You should have an idea, a list in your mind of what you want. Stay away from superficial things. Focus on what you value, what you value in life, what's important to you in life, and then keep those things close to the surface so you can talk about those things when you meet someone. <clears throat> That's going to bring you better dating success as well. If this video is helpful for you, please subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much.